friends welcome back to my channel today's video I'm going to do a tag and this is something that I saw a couple of my friends do it one of them was uh, Mary from Fritz, Glitzy Fritzy and I believe that I heard that Ali Glines was the one that started this video this tag but I'm not sure so we'll try to investigate and tag it below give the description and their um, not in the description box I'll let you know who started it and their a link in case you want to watch those but I thought it was a pretty interesting tag and it's called content creator confessions tag so um, I watched other people do it I decided I wanted to do it and let's see how it goes so number one how do you feel about the term influencer and do you feel you are one okay to begin with my channel is not big enough to influence anybody I don't want to consider myself an influencer because that's like thinking to be just like wow i'm hot you know i influence you people into buying things i try to purchase things and i try to uh try them out for you so that if something i feel is not worth the money i'll let you know if there's something that is amazing i will also let you know like those lip glosses from wet and wild i think that has been the best find that i've had in a long time for a little over two dollars so if that's you know influencing you and in going to try something that i think is amazing maybe but i don't consider myself an influencer i you know that's not my intention on this channel my intention is to share my passion for beauty for makeup for skincare to let you know if something works for my skin type if it works for me it may not work for you if something is a good buy if something is not worth the money you know so it's more to share my opinions on certain products okay how did you decide to become a content creator okay i had a knee surgery i had a uh, knee replacement my right knee it had a total knee replacement about six years ago and i started watching youtube then and um i mean i watch for like two years my my channel's been around for four years already so um i started watching it and really the person or the creator that influenced me the most i mean it's like in the back of my mind i kept saying wow this looks like fun and actually it looks like a lot more fun than work when you're watching it okay but i thought you know i love makeup i would love to do something like that but then one day i was watching jessica braun which i love i love her channel she's very funny down to earth um this girl is what you get what you see is what you get she's goofy she's funny she's honest i really do trust her opinion just like emily noel but she was just in a, a, a youtube video one time and she was saying you know how much she loved makeup and she's going if you're out there this is something that you love and you think that you're only be going to be successful you know if you have like you know, don't worry about the numbers just do it if you're passionate and I, you know i felt like she was talking to me like get off your butt do something that you want to and at first i thought well my family is going to think i'm crazy so i mentioned it to my husband he goes you should go for it he goes really you should do it he goes you love makeup you're you know you're passionate about it and when you're the only one in your surroundings that loves it you don't have anybody to talk to about it so i get to talk to you guys that also love makeup and skincare about these wonderful things out there that a lot of people don't know about they don't care about what's wrong with them so anyway he right immediately the research on my camera he found my camera for me he found my um my microphone for me he did all the settings with my tablet so that i can use it as my you know i can see it bigger than the uh, little how do you call that thing on the camera okay so anyways he really helped me out my kids were so supportive everybody was like yes my sister i mean they all subscribed it wasn't anything i was doing like hiding because i was embarrassed that you know maybe they're gonna think i was crazy people I worked with you know they subscribed and they watched so it was amazing i had a really good positive they all know that I, I love makeup so anyway that's how i got started and that was like after two years so what's your experience with no, knowing other creators in life good or bad okay um i would say good 
um, most of my friends, so I should say all of my friends, because I choose my friends very carefully in real life and also on YouTube. Um, I like people that are real. I don't like people that portray that, you know, life is a bed of roses and then behind the, not that you have to tell me everything that's happening in your life no that's not what i mean but like if there's a day i don't feel good i tell you guys i don't feel good and i don't want sympathy i don't want i'm not looking for poor clara i'm just real i'm having a bad day and i'm in pain and today i'm having a bad pain and i'm in, you know and something happened earlier that you know brought tears to my eyes and i know for that reason this makeup is pretty good because it's still on but you know guys i look at it I, i'm very choosy i don't have i don't look for quantity in friends i look for quality in friends and i have been like that all of my life if i trust you it takes takes a lot for me to trust a person and i can see through bs pretty quickly and um i don't like drama I don't like to create it and I sure as heck don't like to be involved in it so if I have someone even online that gets involved with drama I remove myself from that person immediately because I do not want drama I want this channel to be fun I want it to be fun for you and for me I want it to be something that we can both get away from our daily routine our daily you know worries and anxieties for just you know 20 minutes or whatever and not think about that that stuff that burdens us all day so i do not want drama i do not want to bring drama to this channel or to be brought to my channel okay do you accept sponsorships and how do you feel about them okay i talked a little bit about a video that is going to go up probably before this one i haven't had any uh, uh sponsorships the way that I look at it, the only way that I am going to take a sponsorship is if it's from a brand that I truly love, use, trust, and if they let me have complete control of what I'm going to say, whether it's good or whether it's bad. And if that means that that brand is never going to send me another product again, then so be it. I will not lie to you guys about a product for money. This channel is not created to make me wealthy, to put food on my table, to um, buy makeup. Yes, if I make a little bit of money, you know, with ads or whatever, I welcome it. Absolutely. I have I have been monetized since January. I haven't received my first payment yet from um, from uh, YouTube because it, the ads do not pay much. Okay, so I am never going to so sell my integrity for money. Now, there's a lot of brands I love. I love Milani. Uh, I like um, ColourPop. I like uh, Drunk Elephant. Not that Drunk Elephant is going to send me free products. But okay, companies like that, that I truly use all the time, that I truly love, that I truly show them to you guys all the time. And if they let me, don't put words in my mouth. Don't tell me what to say. You know, I want to be the one to tell you this product is amazing, this product I don't like. Okay, I've told you guys before, you know, I have a affiliate code with um, Gerard Cosmetics. And the way they do it is every quarter they put money in an account. And I can go in there and I can go shopping. And lately I've been doing it for giveaways. I haven't been keeping any other that product for myself. But I told you guys, I don't like their face wash, at least the one, the, the face, the balm removing, makeup removing balm. I got the one that was in uh, lavender because I normally like lavender. The scent was so strong. And I'll be honest with you, I don't like it. I will not repurchase it. They also have another thing that you can put on that you can put it on under your makeup. You look like a tan man and then you put your, your um, it's very thick. It's very heavy. I don't like it. I love their lipsticks, I love their um, highlighters, I love their lip liners, I love their lip glosses. There's many, many things I like, but there's products that I don't. And I'm not going to tell you that I do just so that they continue to put money in my account. I feel like if you're a reputable company, you should be able to take, you know, criticism and improve on your product. 
you know, not everybody's going to like 100% of what you make. All right. So I think that answered the question, I believe. Have you had an experience with a brand that left a bad taste in your mouth? Um, not really. I have one brand. It was they wanted to send me a silk um, pillowcase. And I had agreed to for them to send it to me. And then they sent me this paper that I needed to sign. And it was basically telling me exactly what to say on the ad. They wanted me, they were not paying me. They were just sending me the pillowcase. Um, and they were telling me what to say. And they wanted to see the video before I posted. I told them absolutely not. Um, I said, I don't do that. So I passed it on. I have another brand right now that sent me their products. And now they're sending me the exact same thing they wanted to see the video first and they want me to say this and say that so i sent them an email saying if this is what you expect from me i'll send you your product back just send me a shipping label and but if i can try the product and be honest about it then i'll be more than happy to try because i've been curious about this product so that's the only thing but most of the time they'll send it to me and they say you know we'd love for you to try it and if you like it you know show it to your subscribers how do you deal with negative comments? I really don't get that many negative comments. Um, I've received a couple of them and they have been from not, not my uh, regular or a real subscriber. It's been from people that don't have, they don't have a life. They don't have anything else to do. And they just feel very, you know, they like, they think that they're, they're it because of behind a keyboard. I delete them. I don't, you know, get into it with them. Um, more than that, what aggravates me is the men that go on in my comments and they leave comments for you girls, you know, hi, how are you? Stuff like that. When I see them, I delete them. Um, I, they, they send me a text before, a comment before on somebody else's video that I watch. So that annoys me because it's, is it a scam? Do they think it's a dating site that they're actually going to pick somebody up? What's, I don't know what's behind it. So I do delete them and report them when I see them on my channel. But that's really the only thing. You guys are amazing and kind and you never, ever leave me. My subscribe. I have the best subscribers in the world. I don't get negative comments. Okay. What is your favorite part of being a content creator? Filming videos about products that I love. Or even products are a fail because, you know, everything is not going to be 100%. Sharing it with you guys, chatting with you guys through the comments. Sometimes it takes me a few days to get back to you, but that's not because I'm being lazy or I don't want to do it. It's just things in my life that keep me from taking the time to do it right away. I read every comment. I usually try to do a heart so that you know that I read it. And then I'll go back and answer comments. But just, I've made so many great friendships, and not just with other creators, but also with, you know, you guys that watch my channels. You know, it ma makes me so happy when I see the same people over and over again. You know, they ask me, you guys ask me about my dad. You ask me about how my back is. I mean, you're amazing. You really, really are, you know, caring people and loving, and I love that. I never thought I would have that, having a, a YouTube channel. What is your least favorite part of being a content creator? Okay, I don't do a lot of editing on my videos. It does take me a little bit of time, but you know how some creators say it takes them eight, 10 hours? No. I may spend a half an hour, um, you know, maybe less editing because I want my video to be real. You know, my makeup application is not perfect. I screw up, I drop things, I say the wrong word, I forget a word. That's life, okay? That is life. And I'm not perfect. And I want, I can relate more with a creator that is like that, real, than with one that seems like their, you know, their, their life is just perfect, they don't make any mistakes, they don't goof off. That's why I love Emily Noel. Emily Noel will sit there with her Walmart t-shirt and she'll tell you she got it at Walmart. Her hair up in a ponytail and or wet because she took a shower. And she does a beautiful makeup channel. She shares her family with, with us. She's real. Now, it took her a long time to get to a million subscribers, which is so sad because she's amazing. And I don't understand why creators like that have to work twice as much as the ones that use filters you know, make 
make it look like you know there no one makes mistakes and i don't know i i just want real life i really do whether it's on youtube or on any other platform be yourself and that's what i always try to do okay so my least favorite part of being a content creator which i kind of went off on that is um linking everything when i do like i get ready with me or my monthly favorites that takes a long time for me to link anything i don't even know if anybody looks at those links but then if i try a couple of times not to link something someone would ask me uh what, what was this that you were wearing now when I, when I need to ask you when i do i think i asked you already on my last video but just in case when i do my monthly favorites do you want me to link stuff i don't like or just leave them out i've been leaving them out but someone asked me about them about one one product i didn't like i don't mind either way adding a couple of additional products doesn't doesn't bother me but linking everything is what yeah is what um i like the least and usually most of my videos don't take that long to upload to um youtube but once in a while I don't know whether everybody decides to upload at the same time it can take hours and that is also very aggravating do you edit your own content and if so do you enjoy it okay i think i just answered that i edited and it's not something that's pleasurable no i enjoy doing the video and i just wish that you know the stuff that i edit is stuff that would is silly nonsense that makes the video longer that you really you know don't, won't get anything out of it i don't delete I, you know I, I leave all my bloopers all that when i forget a word when i say it wrong when my cuban accent comes out i mean but let's say i sneeze on the video i do take that out you don't need to see me sneezing my husband calls me on the phone my phone rings i edit that out you know my father calls me i edit that out but you know i don't edit out stuff that's just because Oh, I dropped another brush. I drop stuff all the time. Where do you draw the line in regard to sharing on social media? Okay, I share a lot about myself. Um, my husband doesn't want to be part of it, so I really don't share anything about him except that he's an amazing man, and I don't know what my life would be without him. And God bless me with an amazing husband and friend. Um, so I've shared a little bit about my parent, my, about my dad. I've shared a little bit about my grandkids, but except for my eldest granddaughter that's done a couple of videos with me at the beginning of my channel, I really don't show the little ones. I did put a couple of pictures, wedding pictures on one of my videos recently, but I really don't share that much about my family because I don't think I decided to do this. They didn't so you know like i'll talk to you i've said something maybe in the past about my sister or my niece or something but i don't mention them my name or anything like that because this is i'm the one that decided to do this so that anybody can look at it they didn't and i don't want to drag them into it okay name one thing you wish you knew when you were starting out don't buy everything oh my god when you first start okay sorry god oh my gosh when you first start a channel if you can buy a camera use a telephone cell phones now are amazing and they make great videos and apple phones are very easy iphones are very easy to edit and put a movie together okay so don't worry if you don't have money for a camera i was lucky enough to get a camera from the very beginning but i could have done it with my iphone Okay, also when I first started, every single product that I saw another creator show, I had to have it. I had to show it. I ended up with so many products that I don't even like, that I had to declutter, that I had to, you know, sell it on Mercari or pass it on to a friend or family. So don't do that. I still buy a lot of makeup, but I'm a lot more... Um, I really think about it now and it's I, I only get stuff that i know i'm going to use that i love for myself not just because it's being um released and everybody else has it like for example i have two of the wayne goss palettes the first two he released i like them you know uh, especially the first one i think that was my favorite one you know when i bought the third one i did not like it 
and I returned it because it's very expensive. He released, I think he's released two more since then and I, I didn't purchase them. Okay. The first two, I really bought them because of the hype, you know, I don't want to be the first one to get it so I can show it on my channel. Okay. A lot of people probably don't even have the money to go buy that Wayne Goss, you know, um, palette or how, do I pick it up all the time? No, I don't. Sometimes I pick up my ColourPop palettes more than I do my high-end palettes. Okay, so don't buy everything. Think about it. What I do now if I want something or if I feel it's an impulse buy because it was just released, I'll put it in my basket, in my shopping cart, and I leave it alone for a couple of days. 99% of the time, and I am not lying to you, when I go back, I'll delete everything in that basket or maybe just leave like one thing on there that I really, really want. But I don't end up buying everything that I put in that basket because I lost interest by then. And I don't try to buy any more so that I can be the first one to get it and show it to you. I'll buy it when I can. I'll film it when I can. Because even if I buy it right away. Okay, I bought the Sydney Grace brushes. You know what? I haven't shown them to you yet. Because I haven't been able to do that many videos because I haven't been feeling well. So just be very careful how you spend your money. Name one thing you wish you knew. Oh, that's, uh, that's the one I just did. Is there any change you like to make to your content in the future? Not really change. I just wish I could figure out what you guys really like to watch. Um, what would draw more people in. Um, I mean, I don't know. My channel is taking very long to grow. Not that I want it, and I'm being serious. I don't want it to grow super large because I still want to be able to chat with my new friends. I really do. But I like to see it grow a little more. And you feel as a creator that you put in all this time and you sit here and you do the work. And then, no, you know, if people don't watch the whole entire video because there's analytics that shows us how much people watch. You know, you see that people cut off at three minutes or five minutes. It's like, well, but then if I do a short video, I can't really show you much. So I don't know. I mean, I don't know what the magic number is. Um, I really don't. I wish I did. Um, it's, it's confusing to, you know, I was looking at analytics. Do you know that most of the people that watch, like I, I always have more, okay, I have more comments that I have likes. So... I don't know if people comment and forget to like the video. Usually when I start watching a video for a creator, I like, I hit the like button right away. And then I'll do my comment after I watch the video. And then sometimes I see all these views. Let's say I have a hundred views, but only 23 comments. And then when I look at my analytics, is showing me that you know more than half of the people that watch my videos are not they're not um, subscribed to my channel so you know if you one of those people please subscribe you really help me out and make sure that you hit that like button and don't be embarrassed to leave me even if it's just a hello it just gives my channel more a visibility and YouTube will recommend my videos more and will really really help me out Okay, is there any, ch oh, here we go, that was it. What company collab is your dream? Oh my gosh. Okay, company, I don't really have a company that I dream that I wish I could do a collab with them. I really don't. Um, a dream collab that I would love to have. Oh my God, Emily. But that is pie in the sky. But I think she's just so real and so, so true and so, I don't know, I just love her. I mean, she's she's the real thing, guys. She really is. If you don't follow her, you need to follow her. You will fall in love with her, okay? She can she can have Play-Doh and create a beautiful look to go, a glam look at that, okay? You need to watch her. <clears throat> oh, okay, so that was actually the next question so the what um what other creator do you admire and want to work with so that i answered that so what company collab would you dream probably ColourPop. maybe i do love their products um i'm very happy with all of the you know um 
it's affordable so I would feel comfortable recommending them to you um, they're pretty consistent on their formula and the products are really good so I wouldn't want to do uh, a collab with a company that they're like 50 50 sometimes you know some of the stuff is good some of the stuff is not so good or elf i would love to do one with elf it doesn't have to be a you know an expensive company elf stuff is amazing so either elf or ColourPop, those two okay what kind of content do you hate okay i don't really hate anything but um videos that i don't like to make and I'm not that thrilled about watching um, empties. I don't like saving. I tried again to save my stuff. I ended up throwing it away the other day because I was tired of looking at them. And I don't like to watch other people's empties because it doesn't, a lot of the stuff is not makeup or, you know, scent or skincare. And I understand that it takes a long time to empty a makeup unless you only have one blush. That's the same blush you use every day. And after you know six months or nine months you empty it you know but the only thing that I that I go through is like brow products you know brow brow pencils brow gels lip liners not even a lipstick but um, those are about the only things that I go through I look I go through a lot of skincare that's most of my empties have you ever had to deal with cancel culture and if so how no like I said I stay away from drama uh, I live and let live um, you know, there's some channels out there that I will not watch because I don't like what the creator stands for. Oh, but I don't go bashing them or anything like that to each his own. You know, if they have their own little group that likes that, then that's fine. It doesn't, has nothing to do with me. It doesn't hurt me. It doesn't, um, the only thing that bothers me is that those creators have millions and millions of subscribers, but then Emily Noel took it forever to get to 1 million. That is so unfair but you know i have no control over that okay so that was the last question so i hope that you guys uh enjoyed it if you are a creator i would love for you to do this tag i think it's fun i think it lets other people know how we feel and a little bit more about us which is what i like about these um tags and this was an excellent one i really enjoyed this one as soon as i heard it it's like oh i want to do that one so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you did. And I love you. And I will see you on my next one. Bye. Mwah.